Well, today finally I'm going to do an engine run video for you. Uh, I'm going to start it up. This is going to be a cold start. Uh, this is my 383 that I dropped in my Chevy truck. And then uh, I'm also going to go to the rear of the truck, let you listen to the exhaust. It's uh, hooker turbo mufflers, dual exhaust with headers. And so, but first, uh, this guy right here, I took this off my truck today. This is the uh, TCI Easy TCU. Uh, I've had three of them now, none of them work. Uh, so I took everything off my truck, including the uh, harness, which was quite a job. But uh, Summit, I think, has somewhat agreed to replace it or uh, actually give me my money back. I've already ordered an MSD uh, transmission controller from them. And I'm gonna give it a try. Here's the harness. I just took that, took that crap right off today. I'm tired of screwing around with it. Every single one they send out has a different problem. So I'm just not gonna fool with it anymore. So we're gonna do a cold engine start here. And hopefully the tripod doesn't fall down. I don't have the best of luck here lately, so it's kind of just perched up here on the edge. All right, so we're gonna do a cold start. I'm gonna hit the throttle one time to set the choke. You'll see the choke butterfly close and it'll come up on the fast idle cam. And then usually just one little bump of the starter, it fires right up. So here we go. camera sitting here on this and uh, I fired it up and makes it a little shaky so I took it off for a Pretty responsive. See the area there? I took the TCU off of there. I'm gonna put my new MSD one there in that same location. I got the wires kind of pulled off because I'm gonna be using the the power feed and the the white wire there, for example, is a tack feed. Uh, the new one still needs a tack feed and of course power and, and then uh, switch power. So I just left that until I get the new controller. I'll redo that a little bit. So it's not quite warmed up yet, but uh, still up on the uh, fast idle cam there a little bit. Usually idles down around 850 or so. Idles pretty smooth. It doesn't have much of a cam, and it's a pretty small cam. Let's get back here to the exhaust. I'll let you listen to that exhaust. Like I said, it's a hooker uh, turbo muffler, it's a hooker dual exhaust, and uh, full length headers. I'm just going to set the tripod up here and I'll flip the throttle a couple of times. I drove it around yesterday a little bit first gear. It came in, the exhaust system was hot and then our temperature kind of dipped a little bit so we got a lot of uh, condensation in the exhaust. Okay, I'm going to go flip the throttle a couple of times.
Okay, that's idle on the uh, curb idle speed. It's dropped off the high speed cam. That's pretty good idle to it. It sounds pretty good driving down the road too, but I've only got it to shift gears a couple times with that crappy uh, transmission controller, so hopefully pretty soon we'll be able to take a ride in the thing. Pretty good running engine. It's, uh, it's real responsive. Haven't done much to the carburetor. It seems like it's uh, pretty good just the way it is. When I rebuilt it, I put it all back to uh, stock configuration. Because I was, uh, I did have this on my vet, and I had uh, larger jets, and I had messed around with the uh, idle feed restriction. This totally stock rebuild on it. it runs pretty good, I think. And once I get all the problems ironed out, I really enjoy it. Okay, thanks for watching.